Hey, it's Maritza with Principle 3, Self-Talk. The universal success principle of faith and self-talk are intertwined. Using positive self-talk or auto-suggestion can help you develop a rock-solid faith that can sustain you no matter what. Conversely, negative self-talk can fuel low self-worth, procrastination, and fear. Most times, this negative self-talk is simply a habit that's been practiced for so long that it seems nearly impossible to break. And it's worth the investment of time and money, if necessary, to receive professional counseling and coaching to change and redirect this habit. When you're drowning in negative self-talk, those anti-mantras that you've believed for so long, you're giving in to the limiting beliefs that have held you back and stalled your dreams. And this can lead to a false skepticism about even the validity of your dreams and your ability to achieve them. Because faith and self-talk are so connected, practicing positive self-talk can sometimes feel like a big fat lie. This is because people often go to the extreme, trying to jump from feeling bad to feeling joyous with one affirmation. And that leaves people feeling frustrated as if self-talk works for some people but not for them. Successful people know how to practice self-talk they can believe in and make it a habit, which leads to a sense of self-worth and faith that cannot be shaken. The key to using this universal success principle is to use inner language that makes sense to you in terms of where you are right now. If you can get yourself to feel just a little bit better right now, you can up the ante tomorrow, building your unbreakable house of faith day by day and brick by brick. I believe there are only two categories of self-talk, and those are self-love and self-hate. You're either feeding your mind and spirit with supportive, loving thoughts and actions, or you're breaking your spirit and breaking your motivation and inspiration down by engaging in destructive self-talk and destructive actions. Like most anything, this is habitual and can be changed. And awareness is the key to all change. So try carrying a notebook for a couple of days and recording in it how many times you're aware of your self-talk and see whether it's positive or negative. With that awareness, you can start flipping it towards the positive.